TYT Sports, Denise Jones, Brett, Robert here. It's a great panel. It's Friday. Um, an interesting story. So everyone's always talking about where LeBron is going to be going, right? Everyone's talking about, some of you are even talking about like him going to a completely different sport outside of uh, the NBA and basketball. But there's one person uh, who's really passionate, and I feel like more passionate today than most. And that person is Earl Boykin. So Earl Boykin says that, uh, though, trust me, LeBron will never, ever play for the New York Knicks. I have insider information. He will never, ever play for the New York Knicks. That's not too much insider, by the way. He repeated the, <laughs> the same sentence that he said, which is totally fine. He's passionate. I said that he was passionate early on. So he's not going to the Knicks. A lot of people are saying he's going to be a good fit because Porzingis is there. What do you guys think? No. You no? don't like the Knicks? <laughs> it's not that I don't like the Knicks. It's just... I have a little insider information myself. Do you? I have sources, anonymous sources, multiple sources, people close to the situation. You like that? You like that? I believe it. Yeah, you I like believe that, it. Right? Right. <laughs> it sounded right. Is it true? I'm believing uh, it. Actually, yeah, I do have a couple of people. Oh, but no, but that's the cliches that everybody uses. I know people close to the situation. True, 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 a true. source that's close to LeBron. True. A course that's, you know, in the team, the inner circle. By the way, that close person could be like could the be janitorial staff yeah, that anybody. passes anybody. by him. <laughs> And uh, just doesn't even see. But yeah, I, I don't think it's, I think the Knicks is not on the list. I think there's a very short list of teams that LeBron would consider going to. Uh, the Knicks are just too far away from a championship, and he wants to win rings, and their cap situation is not the, the greatest. So I, I agree with Earl Borkins on half of what he said, that no, the Knicks are, the Knicks are not a possibility. Yeah, I I don't know. I li he like I feel like he is attracted, at this point in his career, he would do well with a large market. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and people always talk about how, like, well, you could go for the Knicks and get right. that there, but they just have had so much trouble winning. They have. And putting it together and making it to that next echelon. And they get, they're, they always have, like, fits and starts mm -hmm. to getting yeah. closer, but I don't know if they could land LeBron either. I think they're still scarred, too, the Knicks from uh, that Phil Jackson <laughs> coaching Era, short era <laughs> live. That was such um, a mess. And you know what sucks? Because from LA, Phil Jackson is like, Yes. You know, New York just like completely disgraced his name. But uh, he did go on to say that there is a team that he does think they're going to be uh, moving mm. forward with. And it's a team that not a lot of people are talking about. So he says he's going to look at Denver. He's going to talk to uh, Nuggets president of basketball operations, Tim Connolly. Uh, and he's going to say, if I sign here, what moves are you going to make? What's going to be left if I decide to sign here? The Nuggets have the young pieces that LeBron wants around him. They do. Is that true? I don't know, man, because if we're talking young pieces. No, everyone always says that LeBron doesn't want to play with young pieces. He does. He wants to play with people that are seasoned. He wants to play with players that are are, are familiar with. The, that's the only reason that mm. LA is no longer becoming a conversation for LeBron because of the whole Kyle and um, Kuzma beef. Like, mm, see, I think that's. I think. You don't think I think. So? I think it's a misconception. Uh, young and old. I think what Le if you listen to LeBron, what he says is, I want to play with players that have high basketball IQ. And J.R. Smith has been in the league for a decade and a half. <laughs> he doesn't have high. I would take Lonzo and Kuz and Josh Hart basketball IQ-wise right. well, over J.R. Smith. So I think it's not necessarily the youth or the age. It's the actual players. You're, asking, okay. you're saying yeah. how fair. old the basketball soul is yeah. versus the body. Right, right. That's so, fair. so if it's if it's the Nuggets and he says, hey, these guys on the Nuggets have you know high basketball IQ. It doesn't matter how old they are. He would go to them. But I think that the Nuggets are. I, I don't know what Earl Boykins is talking about. Uh, I would I would give I would give you my ring, Brett, if LeBron signed with He's the Nuggets. He's never taken that ring off. Uh, yes. Did you shower with that thing on? It, huh? Look at the, yeah. look at the around part. Look at it. Look at it. See, I, it has its oil in it. I have more oh. rings than Carmelo Anthony. Oh. <laughs> oh. Love you, Melo.